Okay, new segment on the channel. It's very simply called Serious Fault, Do You Agree? Okay, so this is where I'm gonna have done mock tests with some of my learners, and they do something that creates what I deem a serious fault, and very simply, do you agree, or do you think I was harsh? So, first one we're starting with now, with most of these that won't be filming inside the car, because at the moment I'm not really doing that constantly. I do that with certain learners. Um, but the first one is the dash cam footage you can see he's exiting a roundabout and as he exits the roundabout there's now a bus in front of him. It's quite a wide road. He makes a decision to go round the bus. Now I'm going to pause it here and his speed is 15 miles an hour. It's not awful but you're going around a live vehicle, a bus in particular. Okay. Now the reason I gave a serious fault I gave it for use of speed. There's very little clearance that we're given to the bus at all. And as we approach the other end of the bus, I'll pause it again, and you can see his speed has actually increased. Yes, it's only two miles an hour, but you're putting energy into the car rather than taking it out, okay? If someone had walked around the front of the bus at that point in time, there is absolutely no way that we're gonna keep them safe. Absolutely no way, okay? So that's why it's a serious fault. In my area, a year or two ago now, there was an incident where a schoolgirl walked around the front of a bus and was hit pretty badly injured by the car. The car actually drove off, presumably in panic. But think how that's gonna change your life. For all H1, you have that responsibility to look after those that are more vulnerable than you. So when you go past the bus, you should not be giving as little clearance as we gave, and you certainly shouldn't be at that kind of speed. 17 miles an hour might seem slow to a lot of people, but that isn't slow enough to go around the bus. I would have been at between five and 10 miles an hour to go around the front of that bus if I'm gonna do it. If I don't feel it safe, I would wait further back. But let me know in the comments, do you agree? Do you think it was a serious fault? Would you have just given a driving fault? Do you not think it was that bad? Uh, it'd be good to hear a variety of opinions. It is all very subjective, the driving test, of course, but for me, that's a clear serious fault. Let me know what you think.